Oh man, in this video, I'm gonna share with you three altcoins which are currently undervalued, which haven't yet had their explosive move. As you know, guys, right now in the market, we are seeing altcoins rip. We've had a crazy 90 days for many projects, and I've been seeing to a lot of you guys, if you're in the Telegram particularly, the guys, please do not chase these green candles. But in this video, I'm actually gonna go and dive into the data with you guys to identify which altcoins coins have yet to partake in this move and therefore relatively are undervalued in that they haven't partaken in the pump just yet. I'm going to show you exactly how I've set this up and a lot more. Smash up the likes. Do not forget to subscribe. You're going to like these three. And these are three fundamentally solid projects which you may be looking to DCA actively now. First and foremost, jump over to Coin Market Cap, and when you get to Coin Market Cap, I need to show you how to get it set up in this view because it's a really powerful view for you to be able to spot stuff. One of the questions I get a lot is, how do I screen for all coins? I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. First things first, set this to show rows 100. You want to see 100 all coins at least here on the list. Then I want you to click customize. Click customize and go ahead and select these. Take off the ones which are relevant. I just want market cap. I want the one hour chart, 24, seven day percentage. 30, 60, and 90 day percentages. And then go and reorder them in the same order as I've got here. Click apply changes, and you're going to get yourself on this view. Now, the reason this is important is, of course, if I click market cap, I can get myself the top 100 projects now from the highest market cap to the lowest, and I can change the order here. So I can go from the lowest to the highest. So Zilliqa here at 360 million market cap, just make it into the top 100. Okay, so let's reorder that back. Now, also what I can then instantly do here is I can start to identify who's had a good month, who's had a good 60 days, and who's had a good quarter, which is three months, right? 90 days. So straight away at a glance here, Bitcoin over the last 90 days is doing really, really well. It's up almost 20%. Now, if you just looked at it over the 60-day period, it's up 35%. But over the 90 days, what I want you to focus on, because it can tell you the longer term trend of where these projects are sitting. And so when you go down this list, you're going to see that a lot of these have done really, really well. I mean, look at Solana, up 78% over 90 days and 111% in just the last 60 days, right? And you can keep going down the list and you can see that a lot of all coins have done really, really well. I mean, look at look at here, Toncoin up 86%, Chainlink 60%. A lot of people are sleeping on Chainlink. I continue to say, guys, I'm DCing Chainlink, I'm DCing Chainlink, but nobody wanted to hear it through the bear market, right? They just want the exciting projects. And then you want to keep going down and you can still start to see that many altcoins are still popping off. But what I want you to notice is we want to look for the red ones, right? Because we want to ignore this 84% on Injective. We know Injective has gone crazy. We want to ignore this 260% on ThorChain. It's had its moment. You do not want to be chasing green candles on these projects. We want to do the exact opposite, okay? So now go down this list and look for solid projects, which you like, which you believe in, which you have conviction in, which you've done your fundamental analysis on, and many of the altcoins which I'm going to cover here, I've done deep dive videos into them on the channel. You can go find it. And I want you to start identifying them. And the first one that I want to share with you guys, hold up, guys. If you're looking to actively trade and you're not in our free telegram group, jars.uk forward slash TG, make sure you're in there. I share free trade alerts plus TA setups of exactly how I trade altcoins and profit successfully. Also, there is a VIP group where you get regular VIP trade alerts with the exact trades I'm taking. So definitely check that out. jars.uk forward slash TG. I'll see you on the inside. Is Uniswap. Look at Uniswap here, guys. Over the last 90 days, this project is still down 22%. That is despite pumping here over the last 30 days, 23%. And most of that is been over the last seven days. So the market is starting to identify, hang on, this is lagging the rest of the market, right? Look at this. How are we still down here 22% over the last 90 days on Uniswap when many other altcoins here are moving to the upside? It's, it's underperforming the rest of the altcoin market. And again, when you then ladder on top of the fact that this is a good, solid project, it's the de facto decentralized exchange, the AMM, right? It's the one people use. It had the early um, early mover advantage. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be powerful. And it's definitely something I'm holding into the next board. And I will always hold uh, something like a decentralized exchange because the reality is we know that many governments are cracking down on crypto. And when they do crack down on crypto, what is the one saving grace we have? decentralized exchanges, right? The fact that we can, for a decentralized manner, utilize the benefits of crypto. So definitely one for me, if you jump onto the chart as well here on Uniswap straight away, 
you can see here uh, how we're kind of downtrending and we've not even broken trend right this is the weekly chart here i'm showing you on uniswap and look at this we're just still in this downward trend so now over the last couple of weeks here it's starting to go okay let's start picking our way up but the question is will it break this trend and we could see a nice big move here on uniswap so still undervalued here still close to the zero fibonacci line remember this is a project which if i show you the fibonacci ratios just to get back to the golden pocket you're talking 29 to 30 dollars on uni token it's sitting at five right now that's a 6x multiple to not even go back to all-time highs. To go back to all-time highs, now you're talking 43 up to $45 here on Uniswap. You're talking a 9x. And to get to your Fibonacci extension of 1.618, the golden extension level, that's $71 here on of return here uh, on Uniswap. So crazy projections here on Uniswap, and definitely one which I think is kind of getting slept on amidst, amidst the excitement of many other altcoins. Again, if you come into the bubbles, you will always see which which altcoins are moving i mean of course you got the ftt token moving uh, due to the ongoings of the case you're seeing polygon matic moving which is an 11.3 percent move on a layer 2 scaling solution and so if we jump down here to polygon matic to take a look at the chart you can see here another 5.8 percent day here it's had a powerful four weeks here on polygon starting to move nicely but interestingly when we jump back into coin market cap let me show you another one let me show you something like optimism here optimism down 14 percent here over the last 90 days sitting at 1.3 billion dollars in market cap if you want to compare that to the market cap of polygon it's sitting at 7.2 right so definitely a lot smaller than polygon matic uh, and optimism still being a platform that's used by people like coinbase base uh, coinbase's layer 2 scaling solution is using the optimism mainnet so a lot of people People are benefiting from using optimism definitely one i do not want to be sleeping on going into the next bull market if you want to break down of all the different layer two scaling solutions that are available because it can get quite complex i will link up a video where i did the breakdown i break down matic optimism and Arbitrum, because Arbitrum is the next one I wanted to cover off. Look at Arbitrum, another one that's down almost 6% over the last 90 days when many altcoins like Matic, like Injective, I mean, look at Injective, up 84%, right? Injective up 84% here, and something like... Um, Arbitrum is down 6%, right? It's down over the last 90 days. Now, of course, granted over the last 30 days, it's up 26 because some of the market is starting to realize, hang on, this is slightly undervalued. It's not really partaking uh, in the moves with the with the rest of the altcoins. But look at the chart. Still good times to be looking to jump in, right? And if you look at it here, sitting at 1.07, let's take a look at the market cap on um, Arbitrum as well. We can see that the market cap is sitting at 1.3 billion, still far less than Polygon Matting. Now, of course, this is not a tokenomics video. You will have to look at the tokenomics separately. You've got to look at the circulating supply. You've got to look at uh, the dilution to see if it's of good value. But from here, looking at this as a, as a screening tool, as an indicator, we can definitely see that certain altcoins are lagging the momentum of the market. And hopefully, you guys can use this method to find out, are you just following in on coins? Or are you looking for the ones which are yet to have the pump? Because that's what you've got to learn to do in the bull market. Remember, I said to everybody, here in the bear market guys the bull market is going to be really tough the bull market is going to be really tough because you're going to have so much fomo market's going to be moving green in the market loads of stuff going on and all you're going to be hoping for is red days right because you guys know that you shouldn't be buying on those green days you're waiting for those pullbacks but it's hard sometimes those pullbacks don't come in so you want to fundamentally learn how to identify which altcoins are not following the pump with the rest of the market. You want to ignore the ones that are, and you want to identify which ones are the laggards, and how can I jump into those before others start to jump in. I'll give you another example, right? Everyone's seen a little bit of excitement here recently over XRP, but look at the 90 days. Over 90 days, it's still slightly down right? This is still underperforming Bitcoin heavily. Bitcoin's up 20% over 90 days, and your XRP is down over the last 90 days. So there's so many examples of this. Look at Cardano. Cardano is only up 10% here. It's another one that could have another stretch of its legs. It's typically, even in previous uh, cycles as well, Cardano tends to be one of the later movers in a cycle, but still one to watch out for, right? It's only 10%. And so when you go down the list, you see Tron is moving 26, Toncoin 86, Chainlink 58. Uh, you can see that many Many coins here are still due another move. I mean, even look at our Avalanche kind of falling under the radar, down 4% over the last 90 days. Um, many, many opportunities here. And hopefully you guys, after watching this video, can get in the hang of spotting which ones are the laggards and not chase those green candles. Guys, if you find this type of technique useful, if you find these altcoin breakdowns useful, then smash up the likes. Make sure you let me know in the comments. Go watch this video here. 
and I'll see you in the next one.